What's up guys, welcome back to Circle, back to another video. And in today's video, um, we're doing an Audi R8 video. I'm so sorry for not uploading for so, so, so long. Honestly, for me, once a week is just not good enough, but at the same time, we got a lot of content in this one video. And I really wanted to at least have a jam-packed video for you guys. I know it only is 20 minutes or 25 minutes, however long this video is, but this is not a video you guys wanna miss because from the start to finish, we got so much things done on this Audi R8. And also guys, I do have some upcoming news on a new shop. For those of you guys who follow me on my Instagram, I do announce everything on there before I announce on my YouTube channel and I did find my very first shop I did get the keys for it. Hopefully that's gonna be the next video things I've been working on behind the scenes and again Why I'm taking so long actually just getting these videos out to you guys There's just so much going on I am filming everything with the shop as well But I'm kind of going back and forth between car content and shop content and just trying to make it all compile it for one video to you guys So anyway, it was the next video shop video the new business venture and uh, guys, it's, it's insane. It's insane It's absolutely insane, but what's also just as insane is this Audi R8. So let's go ahead and just jump into this video. Now, first things first, I wanted to install a brand new battery. It really didn't need a brand new battery, but I wanted to install a brand new battery, a 2023 battery, because the car currently has a 2017 battery, which is already pretty much six years old. Then after replacing the battery, the next thing I wanted to do is actually replace this uh, little cable piece. It's little like, I don't know what you call it, but basically this this housing that goes around the cable to pretty much clip it in, hold it in place. Um, obviously this car was in an accident. I wanted to reuse that cable because it went to like a larger system that would have cost me like $800. But thankfully I was able to just to buy that little piece, replace it. And now the whole hood life system works perfectly fine. Thank the Lord. So that is amazing. So after replacing that, I decided to remove the headlights and pretty much get started on putting on the new brackets because uh, yeah, you guys remember they removed the old hood latch and the old bracket off the passenger side. Um, because they were bent and now we're actually putting on some used ones new to me used ones on back to the car um, So we can actually mount on the second hood latch We have one in each side one in the center So we finally have both sides now and the center hood latch connected which is absolutely perfect And now it's just time to pretty much test fit and make sure everything is working properly Finally dialed in. Both latches are working perfectly. The center latch is working perfectly. Now we're officially good to go in terms of our hood latch system. You guys also saw that we installed a 2023 battery in here. I just figured this is such a pain in the butt to replace a battery on this thing. I have the other battery charging right over there, but I mean, I couldn't deny the opportunity to replace the battery when it's so easy to get to. And I'm sure that was honestly a good idea, especially considering that batteries typically last like maximum six to seven years. And that one was already pretty much six and a half years old so long story short i mean i might have got another six months to maybe possibly another year or two out of it but that's tops and to be honest with you guys like the e91 m3 i bought a brand new battery from bmw for that one i wanted to get a brand new battery for the audi r8 because these two cars are honestly my life dream cars and i cannot believe i honestly get to say that i have them both right now and i just want to treat them right i want to treat them right new batteries so i can you know jam into some music without having the car on when i'm in the parking lot or whatever i just feel like it, it's worth it, it's worth it. And it is, now that we've got the whole hood line situation sorted, uh, it's time to get the bumper out of the backyard and start test fitting it and see if you have any issues with that bumper. Now I know it actually needs some repairs. I'm just wondering if the bumper is super tweaked out to where the gaps just looks really bad on it. So without further ado, let's just go ahead, bring the bumper and test fit on the car. So now that we have the bumper right over here, we have the front lip. As you guys can see, the front lip, I mean, honestly could be in better shape, but for the most part, it just needs paint and this thing's gonna look super nice. So the front lip's gonna get painted, the bumper's gonna get painted, the hood's gonna get painted, the doors are gonna get painted. I think the whole door has to get painted because of that little issue. But I think basically what they're 
going to do is they're actually going to paint half the door, blend it with the front end, and the other half of the door is going to mix with the rear end. So basically, it's going to look as clean and OEM as possible. Thankfully, the damage on this bumper is not that big of a deal. We have no bottom damage. The damage pretty much all resulted in this area right over here. Um, now, as you guys can see, this piece right over here is actually part of the bumper. This isn't the grill. The grill would sit right over here. This is a piece of the grill. This is a piece of the grill. That's a piece of the grill. But long story short, this is actually a part of the bumper. And we're about to find out whether or not we can just bend this back up and uh, heat this all up and just pretty much take off all the tabs and, you know, form it and see would it actually come together very clean or it's going to actually need a replacement or another bumper to combine with this bumper. We're going to have to figure that out here in a little bit. Now, we do actually have the new grill to replace it and it's gloss black instead of this chrome. So that's going to be super nice. The only damage that's pretty much on this bumper other than this section right over here is right over here. And as you guys can see, it's not that big of a deal. There's no like actual major cracks or anything like that. It just looks like a little bit of a divot right there. But again, not a big deal. The sidewall looks absolutely perfect. So I genuinely feel like this repair is not going to be too difficult, especially for a professional. Thankfully, both sides of the bumper are in perfect shape. The grills are in perfect shape. The sensors, the PDCs on the bottom, all in perfect shape. I got super lucky with this bumper, mainly because when I bought this car from auction, it didn't even have a picture of the front bumper included. I assumed I needed to buy a complete bumper regardless. But when they drove this car out of Kofar, it came with this bumper with everything else on top of it. I literally just had to buy a grill, which for those of you guys who've never rebuilt an exotic car before, if I had to buy the bumper and every little piece on that bumper used, I w it would have been at least $2,000 minimum. I mean, honestly, that's me being very conservative. Um, if I had to go to dealer, we're talking three, 4,000 minimum. So uh, long story short, happy it came with the bumper and I'm really happy it came with everything else. And I'm really happy that possibly we're able to save this bumper, which would be super sick. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the bumper right over here and just start pretty much heating it up and try to see if it'll take back its original shape and put on the new grill. <laughs> And just like that, guys, we have the front bumper on there, and it's looking all right. It's looking all right. Like, the gap on here on this side looks absolutely perfect. The gap on this side looks absolutely perfect. But now, when you come around to this side, this bumper is a lot lower on this side, so it should be coming up right over here, and it could be because the screws are not screwed in. I mean, it could honestly just be just like that. Bada bing, bada bang, call it a day. And over there, it's absolutely perfect. Just needs to be pushed in. You can screw that in, no problem. So, the main issue is right over here, but honestly, guys, I definitely think this is savable, um, especially you can see the damage is right over here and this is gonna be covered up by the front grill i don't know if i've showed you guys the grill yet but it's this bad boy right over here it looks mighty fine i'm not gonna lie check that out <laughs> i cannot wait for this bumper to be on this car it's gonna look so sick especially with that grill so yeah as far as right now i'm gonna go ahead and take off the bumper and honestly load it up to the back of the truck and we're gonna get the r8 loaded up onto the trailer so we can take it out of the paint shop we're not gonna be doing that today because it is raining i'm probably gonna do it sometime tomorrow so honestly i guess that's pretty much all we can do today so i'll see you guys tomorrow and guys, a few days later, we are back with the Audi R8 and it's officially time to start stripping this thing down be because yeah, it turns out that you have to obviously strip everything off before you get it painted. I completely forgot that we need to strip both doors to actually get the doors painted and blended as well. So we need to remove both side mirrors and then we also have to remove both door cards. Without further ado, let's go ahead, pull those two things off. Now you guys are seeing me take apart the door panel right now because normally what you need to do is remove the door panel to access the screws to the side mirror and to access the screws to the uh, door handle. Well, mostly for the side mirror, but um, little did I know this is an Audi, not a BMW. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much disassemble the mirrors and the handle from pretty much the outside of the door. And all this was for nothing. And I was so frustrated. This literally took me two to three hours just pretty much trying to take these door panels apart because I did not want to damage a door door cards and I did not want to damage the carbon fiber on the door cards either so long story short I just ended up reassembling it because I found out that there is an easy way to remove the door handle and uh, the side mirror is like I said from the outside of the car kind of crazy
So after a few mistakes, guys, we finally actually got the mirror caps off. This is the first car I've rebuilt that I noticed that everything outside the door can be removed outside the door. What's kind of sketchy is how expensive those mirrors are and you can completely take it apart without even entering the car. Now, I'm sure the alarm system will go off and start beeping and stuff like that, but it's just kind of crazy how you can actually remove um, the door handles, the mirrors, pretty much the whole mirror assembly, literally everything from the outside of this door without actually taking apart the door card. I literally reassembled the whole door card and uh, I'm just happy I don't have to remove it again. That thing was such a pain. But yes, the door is finally ready to be sanded down, painted and blended. The hood is finally ready to be sanded, painted and blended and so as the bumper. I was gonna actually take the car today, but unfortunately I didn't realize I need to take all those things off. So now that everything's off tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm gonna load it onto the trailer and take it straight to the paint booth. And I think honestly, I'm gonna take these as well with me just because if they're gonna paint the doors, I don't want these to be a little off. So I'm gonna have to paint absolutely everything that's on the door and the whole front end. Now, before actually dropping off the Audi R8 to the paint shop, I decided to first just take apart the front end some more just to see what exactly was leaking from the front because I was pretty darn sure that both of our radiators were pretty much cracked from maybe the forklifts at Copart or something. But it turns out it was literally just water buildup on these, I, I believe they're oil coolers or something that's leaking, not even the radiators. So that's a super good sign. I'm pretty sure here um, that I don't have any issues with my radiators, which saves me at least a couple grand, honestly. Um, and yeah, at this point, you guys can see, dropped off the car for paint. Let's just go ahead and work on some other things like the headlights. We might as well do something while we wait for this thing to get painted. And guys, about a week later, we have the truck and trailer ready to go. Let's go ahead and pick up our Audi R8. I cannot wait to see it fully painted. And so we're finally back home, guys. We got the E91 M3 chilling like a villain, but we got the Audi R8 looking so good. So we got the front hood painted to paint match the car. Apparently the old black was like a different actual shade of black. Apparently Audi R8s come in two different kinds of black. This one in particular came with the pearl black. So as you guys can see with the hood right now, we got all the pearls there looking absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys come out to the side as well, we ended up painting these as well. Not that they were damaged, but it just helps with the blend. And then we ended up repairing the door, all the nicks and stuff like that, painted the door half Halfway and then blended the door as well. So the door is blended to the rest of the car and the front end just looking absolutely gorgeous. So at this point, we do have a lot of little things I wanna go ahead and slap on the car to at least get it to where it's drivable. We don't have the side mirrors on there. That's gonna take a lot of time to get those back on just because it was a pain in the butt to get off. Uh, so yeah, we need to put on the side mirrors back on the car. We didn't actually paint the side mirrors. We're just gonna end up getting them polished. Um, but I think that's the better way to go just because they are already clear broad and I don't wanna unclear bra them. It's factory paint, factory clear bra. And I just, I like it, I like it. And the door Door handles as well. He said you don't need to paint match it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that is the actual case. We're gonna slap on the door handles and see if that's true. Uh, but I guess we're about to find out.
then just like that guys we finally got both side mirrors on the car and something that i noticed about audis i don't know if it's audis or just the r8 but for some reason the mirrors are like not symmetrical if you guys look at it from the front of the car this mirror is more in than that mirror that mirror is like pretty much flat like this this one's more like that i'm not gonna lie looks kind of weird i literally thought it was a user issue but i triple checked my work and there's only one way for that mirror to snap in so i looked into it more online and it literally looks like every other audi r8 if you look at it from the exact front from dead center in the front you notice the passenger side mirror is a little more in than the driver's side let me know why that is guys i'm super confused because bmw i've never actually seen that before in all of my years working on bmws even at, you know fords in that matter i've just never seen that before so let me know I'm like 99% sure this is a factory thing, but if it is a user mistake, let me know down below, guys. I did so much research. I actually found some cars for sale, some Audi R8s, and from the front of the car, it looks identical to mine, so I just think it's a factory thing. It's just kind of weird, though. I'm not gonna lie. So now that we got the mirrors and the door handles on the cars, guys, so finally this thing is at least drivable. The next thing I want to go ahead and start working on is putting on the two headlights. Now, obviously, we still need to adjust the hood, but if we can go ahead and adjust the headlights, get those installed, and then we also have some uh, moldings to actually go over here. We can't install the moldings that go here just yet, mainly because, again, we need to adjust the hood. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead, light up our headlights, get those bad boys installed. So the last thing we'll have to do is just get on that front bumper. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and slap on the front bumper on our Audi R8. This is the first time ever even test fitting the front bumper onto this car, so I'm very excited. And now that we're at the end of this video, guys, check this thing out. It looks so, so, so good. I honestly haven't even really given it a wash, like, since I got the car, I think. I mean, we still have the stickers on there. We still have the mileage on the glass right there. But you guys can see from the front end of this car, it just looks so, so, so good. So aggressive. I absolutely love this front gloss black grill. I just think, oh, man, this thing is just, it is the dream car, and I'm just super happy about it. Now, obviously, um, the way it looks is without all the skin and bones and shields and all that stuff back there, we still need to install so many things but from the outside of the car, it does look really good put together. Now what's next for this is honestly trying to get this hood lined up before actually assembling all the cowls and everything else. And I'm actually gonna be taking this car over to Foreign Bills to see if they can actually help me align my hood and just to see if we can get this hood as close to clean title spec fitment as possible. That's like my main goal before actually putting in 
handle, the cowls, plastics, and all that stuff. Because once you do all that, you really can't even reach the hinges. I'm just trying to do my absolute best to try to have as close to clean title spec as possible. But uh, guys, I mean, it, it is looking insane. So hopefully, yeah, that's gonna be the next video is getting everything buttoned up on this car as much as possible. And then finally starting to enjoy this Audi R8 and hopefully taking it to our new shop that I told you guys about in the beginning of this video. Super stoked to show you guys that as well. But without further ado, guys, that's gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys are enjoying the build, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys think I got an absolute steal of a deal on this Audi R8, make sure to smash the like button. I think, I think it's an absolute blessing and I cannot wait to honestly do a price breakdown on this thing because it is just mind boggling. I'm not gonna lie. But without further ado, guys, it's gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys wanna see the shop update in the new shop and the new business venture in the next video pretty soon here, make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.